Come on, it's not that hard, opponent. Just block the big damage. He's taking all the time. Holy shit. Now oh, finally, he fucking conceded. Oh my god, dude. Okay, we have one null and we have Bussy, so our mana is getting better. We got him, boys. We got him. We got him again, boys. This shit doesn't seem bad for mid laning. Definitely pretty good farm. We have 10 minutes. Relic. Ever go for shrouds? Ah, I mean, if we need to survive against magical damage, I guess. I could totally see shroud. Does this uh, heal tank uh, type of build? We get to a point where we just uh, sustain and people die around us. Don't worry about this. This is this is normal. I'm a doctor. You can trust me. You know, we're basically role-playing Necro. It's fine. We're pushing. My relic is pushing. Boom. Coming in, boys. We can fight. We can fight. Help him. Burn! Burn! <laughs> they can't stop the burn. Help! Oh, that's a lot. Ah, at least you avenged me. You killed one. No, you fuck! Your reality rifted him away! Oh my god. Nice. Does your heal stay keep going in my ball? Yeah, yeah, it does. You can always do that on me, it's really nice. This shit is pretty crazy, actually. It's not bad. <laughs> We got him, boys. <laughs> I saved me. Uh. Ah, I should have swapped this in. Yeah, I need need shard, I need bloodstone, and probably need like a wind wake or two. Yeah, at least this thing is value. We could use it to get to bloodstone faster already. I think if I use it now, I might get bloodstone and just not die that much anymore. Yeah, I kind of like it. 
I think I will pop it when I respawn. It's this is a good timing. How do you use it? Huh? Do you have to do something? Right click to consume. Oh, okay. Consume. I got bloodstone. I'm a lot tankier now. Any vampire fangs? No vampire fangs. No, you charge in to body block it. You fuck. He's fucking dead. Oh shit, I horribly mistaked that. Oh, I got pulled low ground. Could help too. Holy locket would work, yeah. Holy locket would work, but I believe that Yules is better because uh, it helps survive against a lot of the stuff that I need to survive against. Locket doesn't affect the damage anymore, though. Oh, did it affect the damage before? That's pretty crazy. Happily take it. But his fate will always Ah, running, my friends, running. Could be too. I'm pretty far from that. A cloak is good. Yeah, this looks scuffed as hell. Fight into everything without me. Very well. I'm very proud of you. Back up and smoke. I think I'm gonna go blink next. Very fine.
No, I don't have mana to turn into a wood. Actually running out of mana in that fight. I wish I wish we got mana from this. Maybe Eternal Shroud is the play, but they do a lot of physical damage. Like, a whole lot of physical damage in their team. So I think it's more I need Lotus or Shivas maybe. Shivas is decent here. He fucks the Morphling really hard. My Dark Series not going for one. Yeah, I think Shivas is the play. It is a long way to Shivas though. It's a bit of an odd build for CK. Armlet, Bloodthorn, Blink, BKB. That would do it. I do not like Manta CK. Even though the Phantasmagoria, sure, you can argue it's good for him, but. Yeah, he has a Shivas on Pango, so he's countering me. Fucking with my healing. Melt. Melt around me, Ancient. That does make me a whole lot tankier. We can fight mid. I have Shivas now. We have a lot of items. We have double BKB. Yo, go, go. Alright, so now it should be way stronger, I guess. We're 25. Does the 25 work? I better hope it works. In the description it says that it does damage, so... It's kinda hard to tell if it works or not against low HP targets. I would need to try it against heroes, I feel. Yes, indeed. Okay. Is that real? It's not real. Timeless? That's uh That's very evil. Timeless is really good on this hero. The Maledict is gonna be a lot of damage on its own even. Oh boy. Oh wait, you could have TP'd I think. Uh. No, I blinked on him. Stop silencing me. Fucking mindbreaker. Man, the Mindbreaker plus Basher fucked me so hard there. Blinked into this, get bashed, get Mindbreakered. I got Mindbreakered again because Hoodwink has one. That's a lot of silences, dude. Holy shit, the Morphing Illusion is in. What? Why are you running back with it? <laughs>
Come here, ratta. La ratta. Too fast. Also, I got the maledict on uh, Pango when he rolled through there. He died to me. It's so nice. I mean, this AoE is fucking crazy for Melody. Pretty sure next item would just have been this. Maybe go for Strength Blink. Yeah, maybe. Maybe with this one. I don't really need to blink many times. I just want big HP. So that I don't die. It's true. I still think Arcane Blink is insanely good, but... Uh, yeah, I could go Strength Blink with this. Yay! Yay! It's so nice to see you inspire your fans to ruin their pubs. Have a great night. <laughs> true. True, true. Thank you, thank you. The things I do for my community. For the Dota community. For the good of all of Dota. Existence build, it was successful. Will Lens increase the radius and even more? No, Lens only increases cast ranges. Uh, there's no cast range on Voodoo Restoration, it's just an AoE and thus it's Bloodstone. Yeah, Bloodstone for AoE is uh, Ethan and for, uh, for cast, cast range. He wasn't happy about Nightstalker's phylactery. That's the meta build on Night Stalker, though. I looked it up when I was playing in um, in the uh, qualifiers for TI, and uh, the most common build for Night Stalker is Phylactery. 1280 experience per minute. Pretty good. 62,000 damage. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. And the self-healing, of course, for 33,000. 